Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to track down infinite loops and how to break out of them. For this I already created this example component called infinite loop that has this loop forever property exposed and let's take a quick look at it. So here's the exposed um, uh, variable that we can set in the inspector. Then we have this loop and when the variable is set to true, this loop uh, never completes and it loops forever and the counter variable and stuff in this loop is basically to force the compiler not to optimize away this loop and then we and this is just a nonsense value it doesn't matter what what this is and then we output a debug message so we can see that the editor is stuck basically so let's start uh, play mode and now we see the per frame debug log here it uh, counts up and once I click loop forever it doesn't count up anymore. Unity also doesn't update the UI anymore because it's already stuck in the infinite loop. And now is the question how to find where it's stuck. For this you use uh, a debugger in my case, I use Visual Studio, but you can also use uh, Rider or whatever IDE you prefer. And in Visual Studio, you have under the um, debug menu, this attach Unity debugger uh, button. So I click this attach to my editor. And now I'm now what we are having to do is we need to uh, pause all the threads so we can see where each thread uh, where the program counter is located so which line is executed and we can do this also under the debug menu we find break all and in this case we only have one thread but there can be many more and now we need to check each of the thread but this is easy because we just have one and we can double click uh, this entry and we already see um, that Visual Studio highlights this line because the program execution was paused here and we can see this is our infinite loop already we know this otherwise uh, you can step through this code with uh, the step over buttons or it's the shortcut F10 that I'm going to use now so we can step line over line and now we figured out oh okay loop forever is true so this keeps going on forever um, my approach so now we already found where the um, program execution is stuck but now we have to break out of it. So for this, I'm using the immediate window that you can find, I believe, under debug windows. And then we have immediate. If I open this window, we have here the immediate window and you can see my test uh, previously. So I use Unity's debug API break and its description already reads pauses the editor so i write the code that i want to execute in the immediate window and hit return but now we still uh, have to allow unity to run uh, one more frame so this debug break actually takes place so we still need to break out of this loop and what I do is I just set a breakpoint at this line so you, you can or in Visual Studio I just need uh, to click here then we get this uh, red uh, circle icon and then I continue program execution now the debugger also stepped here we have we see we have uh, a few more threads running and in order to break out of this loop I just place the mouse cursor after the loop hit right mouse button and call set next statement so now the program counter where or what the application is going to execute change from this loop to this line and because we call debug break earlier if we now continue program execution this breakpoint doesn't hit anymore 
and instead the Unity editor is paused. And now it's very easy. We found the where the infinite loop is and we can just uh, stop play mode and Unity. Now we could switch back to Visual Studio, fix the bug and continue iterating on the game. So that's it for this video. Please uh, leave a like if you like the video and otherwise uh, see you.